Karens? Social justice wackadoos? Ooh, these are fun! Hello, everyone! I am... Random 42 The one, the only, the original, still your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. If you guys do like my content, like, subscribe, share, every sub gets a jiggle, and I love you so much for it forever and ever and ever. Hit the thumbs up, too, while you're at it, if you, if you don't mind. It's free! And uh, one of the best things in life are free Karens on the internet with their little Karening opinions going around. Marge Killjoy and everything for everyone. Plenty of Killjoy, but I think that because this is not to my taste, no one else should be able to enjoy it. I'm all over that. And these are the social justice wackadoos doing what they do, wackadoo, wackadoo, and I'm going to use this joke as long as you let me because I like saying it. I know, I'm sorry. It's it's cringe, but it's fun. What are we talking about today? Oh, some new social justice wackadoo coming in and ruining everything for everyone. I can't remember which thing I'm on. It's on this one. Good. Because if I do the other one, then I'm probably going to be likely to go into mechaception or something. Do we want to try? Ooh! That's OBSception. That's not even Mechaception. You just see everything in front of me. This one. You guys have been sending this one around today. This. They're making a list of demands. Ooh, they have demands. Do they have hostages too? Is this a movie that we need to call in one of those negotiators to be like, okay, now, t now take the people out. Is this a diehard situation? Oh, that's what they're doing. So this social justice wackadoo is telling us, who is this, Jamie B? I don't know who this is. Dear gaming companies, who is Jamie B? Ooh, it's a pronoun in replacement of an actual people personality. Yay. Maybe, maybe one of these days, all of these social justice wackadoos will actually develop a genuine people personality instead of needing their little game of Wokemon as their personality replacement. Oh, yeah. Ah, she's a she her she's an unbiased i don't care what you are you have no personality of your own so therefore you see everything as labels like double shiny race and gender a giant game of wokemon. wokemon where you go around collecting ethnic tokenism, diversity, gender, all of the stuff. Gender like every single one of those. Gender fluid. And? Race swap. Ooh, the best Double one. Shiny, race and gender swap. Double shine. That's the super rare one when you have a race and a gender swap in your movie or piece of entertainment just to collect the giant game of Wokemon that life is and the entertainment industry and now gaming can't enjoy anything unless you see yourself represented? Are you a white girl that needs to scream for diversity out of guilt? Wokey I made that up for a Doctor Who video. Yeah, and it's still absolutely relevant in pretty much everything. All of this game of woke, it's all, it's all about treating ethnic groups as an accessory, isn't it? It's like, who could you collect? Well, it looks like they, they made up a new one and now there's a new letter of one of the alphabet people. Hey, I'm one of those. I can actually talk about this one because I'm the B in the alpha. Oh, that don't, no, no, that just stands for the, that stands for the fun. That stands for the, the girl on girl some, yeah, that. Mm, hello. Ooh. This stands for the girl on girl. Sometimes when the mood takes me, every once in a while, you know, when, when available. Product availability may vary in your area. What does this pronoun for a personality replacement have to say? Our demands to the gaming industry. If it wishes to continue. Oh, you're going to take down the gaming industry, are you? Oh, guess, guess what, sweetheart? Stuff behind me, the upper shelves, are all video games. I never need to buy a new video game as long as I live. I have dozens of video games that I can play any given moment. I have stacks, tons. I've been actually gaming Paper Mario on Twitch. And if you think for one minute that you can carry your way into a Japanese gaming company like Nintendo, you have got another thing coming, Karen. All right? Not today, Karen. You're going to drop your taco, get in the car and you're going to make me a sandwich drop the taco get in the car hey karen okay what else are your demands karen i'm ready games our age is now 25 up 
all right, very well, I accept. As long as you accept that as the voting age. You want that? I can do that. We can do that if you really want. And you can no longer be treated as an adult until your neocortex is fully developed and you have the ability in your brain to predict the consequences of your actions. We can do that. And you also might want to give up your rights to drive a vehicle, work at a job, like rooting the game industry, all of those things. Stop making and using guns for video games. Well, because, well, if I don't like it. Plenty of killjoy, but I think that because this is not to my taste, no one else should be able to enjoy it. I'm yeah, that's, that's an insisting sort of attitude. What makes you the right person in this? What makes you and your decision and your will imposed on everybody else? What makes you correct in this? Did you ever stop to think that for one moment, people might need the ability to choose for themselves what they might want to do and enjoy and see and listen to? I'm going a little hippie on this one. Background checks on M-rated games. What, why do you mean a background check on an M-rated game? So, you, you, did you... Did you miss the meetings 20 years ago that the satanic panic and all the PMRC type of people were having when they were trying to blame violence on video games? Ooh! Ooh! She's a Republican! Oh! Hey! I think I have a conservative fan base. Welcome her to your side in... On Twitter, tell her how much her views are exactly like the PMRC and the moral majority from 30 years ago. That might really, really make her day, I think. Don't ever bother her or contact her, obviously. But, you know, she just might want to be aware of that. Mandatory franchise diversity. POC women and LGBTQ. Uh, and, and I like games with mushrooms and orange red kitty cats. All right? That are made in Japan and represent... Japan and Japanese culture. Those are probably my favorite types of video games, to be perfectly honest. Games like Sendo and Kagura that have girls that jiggle all the time and have panty eating contests. Oh yeah, they have dominatrixes in there. Great games like that. So how dare you decide what the rest of the world does because you are offended, Karen. Oh yeah. Oh, and there's more. There's more. Who's sending this to me? Oh, I'll just I'll just let you know. It's a it's a viewer who does not share my outward appearance at all or ethnicity, gender. What what you know, a viewer that sh these type of people don't allow to exist in their mind. They oh no, if you don't think like this, you're a this and a this and a this. You are just I do not need a 40-year-old white dude. Yeah, yeah, not not exactly that. And also, how dare you? I do not want to be used as a token or a label. I am more than just a personality replacement. I keep saying this. Just because you have a label and an individual outward appearance or an orientation preference, whatever, when you have to force the stuff, then it becomes only that superficial thing. You are labeling and categorizing people who are a little bit deeper than that. You don't need that. Games must be given the green light and approved by an approved journalist before being published. Oh, la di da. Yeah, and you know what? Then we'll do exactly what we do with comic books. And we go punk rock and we make our own. We make them better with blackjack and hookers and punk rock. <laughs> And, and chords that I can't play because I'm behind a desk and a microphone. Okay, we're, we're doing a punk rock video. <laughs> Thanks, establishment, Karen. Thanks so much, establishment, that we were fighting 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> we're going to get copyright claimed if I accidentally play a riff that I don't create on my own. Here we go. Banned players from all online games if they've been banned on any social media platform for saying words that we have deemed inappropriate. Oh, you know what? Everybody who plays any game ever would be banned. If you guys saw the comments I get from some of these people on my videos that have to do with a certain captain people, you know, those sort of people. I don't have negative energies. I have loving energy. Yeah, those people. You you would never have any gamer on any site ever. You would never have any user. You would never have anybody if you banned everybody who said something 
like this, you know, even the World War II bad guy couldn't live up to his own idealisms, right, <laughs> so, so seriously, we've been through this, we've done this before, you're not special, you're not unique, maybe if you had something other than your pronoun as a personality, you might know this, here we go, discounting games for PO POC, P pieces of crap, is that what she's calling people? Oh, uh, J. What's a J L G P? Oh, J L. Are are you adding a letter in there that we don't need? Cause I got too many letters. I'm tired of being a label. You know what? I'm a chick with a guitar and bright red hair who plays the games I want to play. I am not just your label. You understand that, Karen? Can do you understand that, Karen? And your little precious Karenings. PSC and JLBT are granted an ability to ban isinphobes from servers. Well, see, you would be banned yourself, Karen, because here, here's the thing. My, my viewer here, uh, Spades the Pirate, shout out to my awesome, wonderful viewer. He has an opinion on Karens that come in and oppose their thoughts on things. Me, Karen. And you know what? We'll put a full screen for you so you can read it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Me, Karen. Well, it sure is great to have our own space, safe space away from all those ists and authoritarians. Am I right? And you know what happens when these Karens come in and speak for people who they might not be? Well, you're going to offend some of the people who might disagree with you, Karen. So maybe, maybe trying to force everybody to bend to your will is not a good thing because you know what happens when the man and the corporations and all the people want to try and control everything it all turns to garbage it all becomes subpar it all becomes a world of mediocre music and then what happens <laughs> We go a little punk rock on your asses, don't we? And we come in and we do our own thing. And this is why I love the independent game creators where I can just turn on a video game and sit there and dig all my way down to the bottom of the map to relax. I can go and explore. I can bash mushrooms over the head with hammers because these are games that are fun. I need to... I get to. I'm allowed to escape from the real world, everyday politics ball garbage of these social justice wackadoos out there trying to control and push everybody into their whim because they think that they're right. And you know what? Maybe you're not old enough to know if you're right or not wrong. Maybe going about it this way is not going to change anything. You're just going to make a lot of people tired of hearing about it. You're going to make a lot of people rebel against your cause. You're going to make a lot of people do the exact opposite just to piss you off. And I am going to laugh like a loon when you do start to see this stuff. And we already start to see this with the independent comics industry that they like to try and shut down. And we already see this with independent video games where we get games with girls that jiggle and we get material and things that we can laugh at and decide for ourselves if it's offensive or not. That's the biggest thing. Why can't we be allowed to make the decision if something is offensive or not? Karen. I am Mecca Red of 42, and I'll see you guys on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Not today, Karen. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!